Instant Ralston and Regular Ralston, the hot whole wheat cereals in the red and white checkerboard packages present Space Patrol! High adventure in the wild, vast reaches of space, missions of daring in the name of interplanetary justice. Travel into the future with Buzz Corey, Commander-in-Chief of the Space Patrol! In today's transcribed Space Patrol adventure, Buzz and Happy have cornered Prince Baccarati in a spaceship on the surface of Planet X. Holding a half-conscious man before him as a shield, Baccarati works his way toward the controls. All right, Baccarati, let go of the professor. Don't come any nearer, Corey. You're all through, Baccarati. Get away from those controls. It won't do any good to try to blast off now. It's the space phone I'm interested in. There. Now stay where you are, Corey. The transmitter is tuned to a frequency that will set off a croconite bomb. I warn you, Corey. One more step and I'll destroy Terra. We'll return in just a moment with today's exciting Space Patrol adventure. Baccarati's secret weapon. Say, listen to all that excitement inside the Space Patrol clubhouse. Let's see what's going on. Hey, Cadet Happy, you got another space coin with a picture of the moon on it? I'll trade you three Saturns for a moon. Sure, here you are. Smoking rockets now, I only need one more space coin with a picture of Terra, and I'll have a complete collection. Hi, Half Hi, Billy. What you doing? Hiya, Captain Twofeld. We're trading space coins. Hey, that looks like fun. You betcha. Space coins are really swell. I've got 24 different ones already. Look how big they are. Big as a half dollar. And look at these keen pictures of Saturn and the moon and Terra on them. Space coins come in all kinds of colors and different values, too. All the way up to 100 credits. Yeah, and they're really neat for playing Space Patrol. Best of all, you get a space coin absolutely free inside every new package of Instant Ralston. Right you are, Hap. And Space Patrollers, why don't you get in on the fun? Start collecting these sensational space coins. You'll have lots of fun flipping them, trading them with your pals, and making up games with them. And remember, you get a space coin absolutely free inside every new package of Instant Ralston. The package with the picture of Commander Corey or Cadet Happy on the front. So why wait? Zoom over to your grocers right now for a package of Instant Ralston and your free space coin. And now, today's Space Patrol adventure... Baccarati's secret weapon. Quietly, efficiently, the Space Patrol is carrying out Commander Corey's preliminary plans for a mass attack on Planet X, stronghold of Prince Baccarati. In the tower room of his castle on the giant planet, the prince is making his own plans. He smiles with diabolic satisfaction as his scientific advisor, Dr. Malengro, hands him a small metal cylinder. Here, Your Highness, here is number nine. Fine, Malengro. One more croconite bomb and I'll be ready to strike. Uh, when will the last one be ready? Ordinarily, I should say within a few hours. However, something unexpected has come up. What do you mean? Professor Crocken has just learned the real purpose for these bombs. He has become reluctant to finish the project. I will not tolerate insubordination from Dr. Crocken or anyone else. Force him to finish the job. That is easier said than done, Your Excellency. In Professor Crocken's present mental and emotional state... Pressure is likely to make him incapable of producing the tenth bomb. Are my plans to be thwarted by the whim of one man? Not at all, sire. I think you need to remind him of one fact. Uh, what's that? He has a daughter in Venus City. Well? Don't you see? One of the croconite bombs is destined for Venus City. Ah. I see your point. Uh, bring the professor to me. I took the liberty of having him brought up to the tower, Your Highness. He is in the adjoining room. Then bring him in. Stop wasting time, Malengro. At once, sire. Come in, Professor. His Highness has honored you with an audience. Very well. The honor, however, is a dubious one. I heard your insolent remark, Professor. But I'll overlook it for the present. I am told that you have refused to complete the work I assigned you to. Why? Because I was lied to I was assured that my discovery would be used for the good of this planet and its natives. Dr. Malengro here told me that Kronkenite would be used to clear away mountains, so water could be brought to the desert regions. Perhaps it shall, someday, when it suits my purpose. Then it's true that you're going to use it to destroy the United Planets. That's right. One city on each of the ten planets will be blown to pieces. I now have nine bombs. 
I want number ten immediately. I refuse to have anything more to do with this monstrous plan. You're being very foolish, Professor. I can still easily destroy nine cities. One of those cities could be the one where your daughter is. Venus City. If I make the tenth farm, you'll get my daughter out of the city before it's destroyed? Is that what you're telling me? Exactly. Then... In effect, I'm to destroy a city in order to save my daughter. Mm, That's one way of looking at it, of course. Uh, I could still destroy the tenth city with other weapons. However, Kraconite is much more simple. Those small cylinders are so easy to smuggle into a city, and they can be detonated one at a time from my castle by spacerphone signals. I should never have followed through on those experiments once I discovered the properties of Kalkonite. As a scientist, you could do nothing else. Well, Professor, I assume you're ready to return to your laboratory and complete the last Kraconite bomb. You will see that my daughter is removed to a safe place? Yes. Very well. The sooner the better. My agents inform me that Commander Corey is planning a full-scale assault on Planet X. But with these croconite bombs, I can wipe out the key centers of resistance. Without leaving my planet, I can conquer the universe. Meantime, Commander Corey is now in Jupiter City with Cadet Happy, organizing Space Patrol forces on Jupiter for their role in the planned invasion of Planet X. Right now, they're in the office of the governor of Jupiter, talking to the governor's secretary, Eric Temple. It's unfortunate that Governor Blake is ill at this particular time, Commander, but I'll do anything I can to help you. The governor seems to have a great deal of confidence in you, Mr. Temple. His spacegram to me says that you're familiar with all of his correspondence and decisions. That's correct, Commander. Good. I understand you have been contacted by one of Baccarati's agents. That's correct. This man is willing to reveal the names of Baccarati's spies here on Jupiter, if the governor will guarantee him immunity. Just who is this agent? I don't know his name. But I'm to meet him tonight at a certain address. He's to hand over the names of Baccarati's men. That's a dangerous assignment, Mr. Temple. Might be a trap. That's occurred to me. But it may be the only way to round up Baccarati's gang on Jupiter. If you're willing to take the risk, Temple, the least we can do is help you. Where is the meeting place? It's an old building formerly used as a clubhouse by commercial space pilots. I'm to be there tonight at 2130, Universal Star Time. Happy and I'll be on hand early, Mr. Temple. You show up alone, just as the plan calls for. Excellent. I'm to meet this agent in room 217. In his castle on Planet X, a jubilant Prince Baccarati seals a deadly cylinder in an innocent-looking package and turns to Dr. Malengro. Now, Malengro, when this package is hidden in Venus City, I am ready to conquer the universe. Your agent has his instructions, Your Highness. He is awaiting orders to blast off for Venus. Excellent. The other Kraconite bombs have all been planted, even on Terra. Your Highness, you don't expect to detonate all the bombs, do you? Why not? Well, perhaps the United Planets' forces will surrender after you demonstrate what you can do to one city. No, Malengro. There is but one way to terrorize the entire solar system into complete surrender. Every planet must get a taste of my power, one after the other. Your Highness, what about Kraken's daughter? What about her? I was thinking of your promise to the professor to remove his daughter from Venus City. Malangro, please don't bother me with such trifles. Now that Kraken has carried out his part of the bargain, we can forget him completely. Billions of miles away, in a Jupiter City abandoned building, Buzz and Happy wait in a darkened room. Hours go by in utter silence. Then, Happy looks at the luminous dial of his space patrol watch. Commander, it's 2155. What happened to Temple? Well, there's nothing to do but wait, Hap. I hear someone out in the hall. Get back in the closet, Hap, and leave the door slightly ajar. Yes, sir. Is there anyone here? Commander Corey, I assume you're in hiding. When I turn on the light, you'll note that I'm unarmed. But I warn you, it won't be wise to attack me if you value the safety of Eric Temple. It's Baccarati's agent. Yeah. All right. Turn on the light. Come on, Hap. I hope you'll excuse this mask, Commander. 
For obvious reasons, I can't afford to be recognized. Where's Temple? When I learned he violated our agreement, it became necessary to change my plans slightly. Temple is being held by two friends of mine. If I don't return by 2230, that's about a half hour from now, Mr. Temple will meet with an unfortunate accident. Why did you bother to show up? Why am I risking capture by you gentlemen? Simply because I expect more lenient treatment from the Space Patrol than from my former boss, Prince Baccarati. You want to make a bargain, is that it? Yes. I have here the information I promised the governor's secretary. It's in this folder. The names of Baccarati's agents on Jupiter? That's right. I'm not in the habit of making bargains with crooks. This is once you'd better compromise with your high standards, Corey. You'd better make a deal for this information. It isn't just Temple who is in danger. As long as Baccaretti's agents are free, they can keep him informed on your plans to attack Planet X. Of course, Baccaretti doesn't know many details of your plan of attack. But eventually... All right. You win. Here's the data on Baccaretti's agents. Look it over. Uh, Looks like a complete file. Names, addresses, meeting places. It's all there, Commander. Happy, hold on to this. Now, whoever you are, see that your pals turn Temple loose. There's no need for that. As you will see when I remove this mask. Temple. Hey, what's the idea? Put up your hands, both of you. I don't want to use this blast gun unless I have to. What's your game, Temple? Why the masquerade? Why? Merely to get you here, so I could handle you without interference. And this phony evidence against Baccarati, that was to get us off guard so you could whip out a gun. Of course. Now I'll relieve you of your weapons, gentlemen. Don't attempt any heroics. How long have you been working for Baccarati? Really of no importance now, Commander. No, don't lower your hands. Blast them behind your heads. That's it. Temple, if anything happens to me, the Space Patrol will be around asking questions. They'd better hurry, because Jupiter City won't be in existence very much longer. What do you mean? Did you ever hear of croconite? Croconite? No. Well, a few ounces of croconite, one and two, could destroy this city. Smoke and rockets? You may well say smoke and rockets, cadet. For there's a croconite bomb concealed in this city right now. And in the capital city of every planet from Mercury to Pluto. Are you telling the truth? I certainly am. Each bomb is set to respond to its own resonant frequency. Baccarati can destroy all ten cities, one at a time, by sending space phone signals from Planet X. And you know where these bombs are hidden? No, that's no concern of mine. You'd better make it your concern. I warned you, Corey. You're lucky I used the paralyzer ray instead of my blast gun. Hmm. Prince Baccarati is going to be very pleased when he sees who I'm bringing to Planet X. We'll return to Space Patrol in just a moment. More power to you. More muscle power for sports. More brain power for school. Yes, that's what you get from a breakfast with a hot whole wheat power cereal, Good Hot Ralston. Because, gang, just one bowl full of delicious hot Ralston gives you 20% of the vitamin B1 and 11% of the iron you need all day long. And listen to this. Hot Ralston gives you twice as many vital bodybuilding elements from the heart of the wheat. Yes, all the power of whole wheat and twice as much power from the heart of the wheat. That's why a power breakfast with good hot Ralston gives you extra protein for strong muscles, extra vitamins for good health. And Hot Ralston is the only cereal that gives you so much power, yet tastes so good. So, gang, join the power team. Get good Hot Ralston, instant Ralston, or regular Ralston today at your grocers. And tomorrow morning, more power to you from good Hot Ralston. And remember, there's a free space coin inside every package. And now, back to our Space Patrol adventure, Baccarati's secret weapon. Commander Corey and Cadet Happy have been led into a trap by Eric Temple, secretary to the governor of Jupiter. Actually a secret agent for Prince Baccarati, Temple now has Buzz and Abby locked in a compartment of a small spaceship and is taking them to Planet X. Far out in space, the two space patrolmen are carefully examining their confined quarters, looking for a means of escape. There's not a thing in here we can use to break out, Commander. Let's keep looking. We'll stand a better chance against Temple alone than after we reach Baccarati's castle. The thing to do now... Wait, he's at the door. Hurry. Raise your hands and step into the corridor. All right, Temple. 
I'll keep your distance while I lock the cadet in. Head toward the control compartment. And don't try to be clever. Now listen carefully, Commander. Do exactly what I tell you. And nothing more. I'm watching you every second. You're lost, is that it? No, not lost exactly. But frankly, the fine points of astrogation aren't in my line. So you want me to correct your vector? Yes. But I warn you, don't try to take advantage of me. I'll know soon enough if you try to trick me. And for your information, Prince Baccarati knows I'm bringing you in. I suppose you told him you captured Happy and me in hand-to-hand combat. No. I told him the truth. I hope you didn't strain yourself. No sarcasm, Commander. Just get to work and correct the course. What's that? The meteor alarm. We're on a collision course with the meteor. Let me at those controls. Get away from that panel, Corey. You're crazy. You can't handle this ship. I know what you're trying to do. You're trying Let go of me. Now stay out of the way. Little boys shouldn't play with spaceships, Temple. If I hadn't changed course just then, we'd have been spread over that meteor like a coat of paint. <laughs> and don't leave ray guns lying around on the deck. Somebody might stumble. What are you going to do? I'm going to put you back there where Happy is now. Then I'm going to follow through with your plan. You, you're going on to, to Planet X? Of course. Prince Baccarati's expecting us, and I wouldn't want to disappoint him. Floating over his expected triumph over the United Planets and upon the capture of Commander Corey by his secret agent, Eric Temple, Prince Baccarati sits in his tower, lost in the dreams of power and glory, his fingers fondling the space of controls that at his will can destroy the ten largest cities of the solar system. Soon, soon, it's within my grasp at last. The greatest empire any mortal has ever controlled. Your Highness, Your Highness. Well, what is it, Malenko? Don't stand there puffing and blowing. What do you want? Haven't you noticed, sire? Your, your castle is nearly deserted. Your guards, your servants, they've gone. Gone? What are you talking about? Where would they go? Out beyond the force field, into the hills, into the jungle. It just quietly slipped away. I caught one of them in the act. He broke away and ran, shouting that Commander Corey was coming. What? Oh, the fools. Let them go. They heard about the idiotic space patrol invasion on Petex. Then, when they heard Corey was due, they thought he was coming as a conqueror. Let them go! But, Your Highness, Professor Crock has gone, too. He escaped. Crocken? Yes, sir. He got to an atmosphere ship. Well, he can't get off the planet. True, Your Highness, but with the space phone he might be able to warn the space patrol about the Crockenite bombs. You're right. The cities could be evacuated. Then, Your Highness, we had better search for Professor Crocken immediately. That's right. Well, come on, Malengo, then just stand there. Let's get to my spaceship. Buzz and Happy with Eric Temple securely locked in an aft compartment are entering the atmosphere of Planet X. Happy has just returned to the control section after a brief visit with Baccarati's secret agent. He told me the frequency, Commander. 415.6 megacycles will get us through the force field around the castle. Good. Space Patrol, emergency! Any unit, come in! Space Patrol responding to emergency call. Identify yourself. This is Professor Kraken. I've just escaped from Prince Baccarati's castle in an atmosphere ship. I'm being followed. There's a spaceship approaching rapidly. Give me your position. That's not important. Every planet in the solar system is in danger. Baccarati can blast the ten largest cities to pieces at any moment. They must be evacuated at once. Please believe me. I made the bombs that are now concealed in those cities. I believe you, Professor. Give me your position. I think I picked him up, Commander. There's an atmosphere ship in the viewscope that coincides with the space phone fix. Hey, and here comes a spaceship. And by the looks of it, it's Baccarati's. Professor, use evasive action. We'll be right with you. It's no use. He's firing at me. All the United Planets. Baccarati is... He's been cut off. I think he's been hit. Stand by to fire space torpedoes half. We're going after Baccarati. Your Highness, we scored a hit. The atmosphere ship is damaged. It's going to land. He's not finished yet. Blast him again. Yes, Excellency. Oh, you're off range, Malengro. Fire again. Your Highness, look. There's a spaceship 12 degrees high, and it's coming toward us. Uh, it 
It's a small Class C cruiser. That must be Temple bringing Corey in. The fool! He's firing at us! What's wrong with that idiot? Sire, perhaps Corey... Well, go on, say it! Perhaps Corey is no longer a captive. That bungling Temple! He should have tried to bring Corey here. Sire, we're not far from the castle. If we can make it through the force field... There isn't time. Corey could bless us before we made it. But what can we do? The Kraken is landing. Set our ship down near him. Corey won't dare fire at us then. Yes, Your Highness. When we landed, make a rush at Kraken. We'll take him alive. Then we'll make Corey believe Kraken's safety is the only way to save those cities from being destroyed. We've got Baccarati's ship lined up, sir. Hold your fire, Hap. Yes, sir. Hey, maybe he's hit. He's going to land. He's sitting down right near Crockett's ship. We don't dare fire at him now. If Bacarati wants to settle us on the ground, that's all right with me. Stand by for a quick landing, Hap. Standing by, sir. Full repeller, Ray. They're getting out of their ship. It's Baccarati, all right. And Malingro. Open the hatches, Hap. Hurry. Yes, sir. Down the ladder. Hey, they're dragging somebody out of that atmosphere ship. It must be the professor. Hold it, Baccarati. Hold him off, Malengro. I'll take Kraken to my ship. Take care, Malengro, Happy. I'm going after Baccarati. Yes, sir. Stay where you are, I'll fire. Too bad you missed, Malengro. Eh, <coughs> eh, Malengro. You won't be needing this blast gun for a while, but... Hey, hey, Commander, wait for me. All right, Kraken. Get into the ship. Up the ladder, quickly. Uh, oh. And hurry up. Hold it, Baccarati. Come down out of that ship. Come and get me, Corey. Commander, quick. He's closing the hatch. No, he isn't. All right, Baccarati. Let go of the professor. Don't come any nearer, Corey. You're all through. Get away from those controls. Won't do any good to try to blast off now. It's just the space phone I'm interested in. There. Now, if you take one more step, I will destroy Terra. This transmitter is tuned to the frequency that will set off a croconite bomb. Hidden in the heart of Terra. And there are nine other bombs. In nine other cities. The professor can confirm that. He made them. Terra would be wiped out. Is that right, professor? If the signal was sent from here, I doubt that the energy reaching Terra would be strong enough to activate the croconite detonator. But you don't dare risk it, do you, Corey? Not with all those lives at stake. Well, Commander. All right, Baccarati. I can't take the chance. Splendid choice. Now, Cadet, if you will bring me that blessed gun you took from Malengro, and the Commander's ray gun, too, if you please. Go ahead, Happy. There's nothing we can do. Yes, sir. And remember, my hand is on this switch. In a split second, I can send an impulse toward Terra. Okay, okay. Here's your weapons. Thank you. Now, step back, cadet. And now that I'm in full command, let us test this croconite bomb. Perhaps this spaceship transmitter is powerful enough after all. Baccarati, you promised. I promised nothing. Now, don't move, any of you. Here goes Terra. Smoke and rockets, Commander. Look through the viewport. That big ball of flame. And the smoke. Uh, my castle. It's gone. That's what I failed to tell you, Baccarati. I made 11 bombs. The last one was set to the same frequency uh, as the one on top. Uh, uh, and I hid it in the castle. My castle. My beautiful castle. Wiped off the face of the planet. All right, Baccarati. I'll take those weapons. Uh, everything's gone. My castle. My empire. Everything. Doesn't. Doesn't anyone understand? Take him to the other ship, Happy. I'm going to check on Terra. Everything's okay back aft, Commander. All three prisoners are securely locked up. And the professor? Sound asleep. Hey, Commander, look. They're in the view scope. Uh, now I can believe that spaceophone report. It's Terra. Safe and unharmed. It's beautiful, isn't it, Hap? It sure is, sir. But you know, Commander, now that it's all over, I almost feel sorry for Baccarati. Oh, not really, but, oh, gee, just to look at him lying there. No more fight in him. And, gee, Commander, he just looks empty. I can't hate him because, 
Well, there's just nothing left to hate. Baccarati is another example of an evil man who destroyed himself. An action preview of next week's exciting Space Patrol adventure in just a moment. Hi, Space Patrollers. This is Captain Dick Tufel speaking. And this is Cadet Happy. We've got a question to ask you. Did you get a red-hot start this morning? Are you loaded with energy and packed with power to think fast and act fast? If you had a good breakfast with good hot Ralston, chances are you're ready for anything that comes. Right, Captain? Right, Hap. You see, Space Patrollers Happy and I investigated and found out that hot Ralston gives you lots of the real hot whole wheat energy you need to be in tip-top condition for everything you do. Yeah, and we discovered that hot Ralston is the best tasting cereal in the whole universe. It's got a rich, nut-like, heart of wheat flavor you just can't beat. It's so good for breakfast, you'll want to eat two bowls full. It's more delicious than a... Than a Whoa, uh, than, hold on than, uh, there, Hap. Uh, Space Patrollers, it is hard to find the right words to tell you how good Hot Ralston is. But you just get a package of Hot Ralston Instant or Regular today at your grocer's, and tomorrow morning you'll know why we say... No other cereal gives you so much power and tastes so good as Hot Ralston. And remember, inside every Hot Ralston package, you get a sweet well, space coin absolutely free. And now, a preview of next week's exciting space patrol adventure. Buzz and Happy are in their spacesuits on Saturn's moon number five. Cautiously, they make their way toward a criminal who already has made one attempt upon their lives. Smoking rockets, what was that? A space grenade. Wow. Hey, if you hadn't pulled me down, we'd have got some chunks of rock through our spacesuits. We can't back out now. Let's move forward. Yes, sir. Hold it, Corey. I'll get you this time for sure. Be sure to join us again next week for the thrilling story, The Lost Condor, when Wheat Checks, Rice Checks, and Good Hot Wellston again present Space Patrol. <laughs> Space Patrol, created by Mike Moser, starring Ed Cameron as Commander Corey and Lynn Osborne as Cadet Happy, was written by Lou Houston, produced and directed by Larry Robertson, executive producer Mike Devery. <laughs> Other players were Bela Kovach, Norman Jolly, Jerome Sheldon, and Stephen Robertson. Dick Tufel speaking. <laughs> now, don't forget to tune in next Saturday and every Saturday when Instant Ralston and regular Ralston again present Space Patrol! <laughs> This is Dick Tufeld in St. Louis reporting on the twin jet Air Force fighter, the McDonnell Voodoo XF-88A. In a moment, we'll hear from the noted test pilot who flies this plane, Phil Houghton. Speed of the Voodoo is a military secret, but it's plenty fast. Wingspan is 40 feet, length 55, weight 10 tons. And now, Phil Houghton recorded this morning at Lambert Airfield. After seeing Voodoo, I guess you know why I like my job. There's one thing about it, though. Test pilot has to stay in good condition, get lots of sleep, and eat good, healthy food. That's why I like rice checks and wheat checks for breakfast. They've got plenty of energy in them, and they really taste swell. I think you'll like them, too. No other cereal, puffed or flaked, contains so much nourishment in such concentrated, bite-sized form. So do as Phil Houghton, J. Ray Donahue, Jr., and other top test pilots do. Make your cereals rice checks and wheat checks. <laughs> If you had a chance to save someone's life, you'd do it, wouldn't you? Well, here's your chance. Buy all the Christmas seals you can. Christmas seals help in the fight against tuberculosis, the disease that kills five million people throughout the world every year. So help save a life. Buy all the Christmas seals you can. And ask your mom and dad to buy them, too. <laughs> Be sure to see another exciting Space Patrol story on your local ABC television station. Consult your local newspaper for time and channel. This program is broadcast to our armed forces overseas through the worldwide facilities of the Armed Forces Radio Service. Space Patrol came to you transcribed from Hollywood. This is ABC Radio Network.